Good morning. I would like to welcome you to quantum sensing and nanotechnology of uh, 2022. That's very special year due to the pandemic. Unfortunately, since two years, uh, we have a kind of perturbation and I hope it's going to be finished as soon as possible. I'm very sorry that I cannot be present physically, but my mind and my heart is with you. And I would like to thank all of you and to say that from 1990, that SPRE came in France and asked me to organize this conference since 32 years. Objective is still the same, the message is exactly the same and is going to continue. This conference was, is, and continue to be a center of gravity of the great scientists from academia, industry, government, to put together to think about how we can solve the problem of the human in any different area, but especially at the present time, fighting with the COVID different virus. So for me, the secret of science is in periodic timetable, and especially the most important achievement of the last century in physical science it was understanding of the structure of atom types to quantum mechanics. So by manipulating and understanding the basic of the physics of the different atoms in the periodic table, we would like to create a kind of sensor that can not only detect the difference, again, the difference area, especially at the present time, the difference virus, but on the other hand, to have using the multidisciplinary background and knowledge, not only to find the way to detect, but at the same time, to find the way, the solution to eliminate and to find and to fight with everything that create the problem for human beings. So I would like to thank Professor Kitty Khodaparast that he's, she's present and she can uh, help to make the conference to be excellent even without my presence. So I would like to uh, ask all of you to pay attention to my opening remark in 1990 that you can see didn't change the objective of the conference and at the same time the message for the future. So I wish all the best for all of you. Thanks again for coming and please keep going and God bless all of you. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor and pleasure for me to welcome all of you to this conference on the physical concept of material for novel optoelectronic device applications. This conference is unique. It's the first of its kind to bring together all of the subjects concerning optoelectronic material, growth, characterization, device, physics, and systems. We have a high number of participants from 32 different countries. We have brought together the leading scientists who have played a pioneering role in the field and who continue to contribute actively to the advancement of our knowledge and capabilities through new ideas. It's an excellent opportunity to exchange the most recent information 
and to discuss prospects for the futures. Judging from the high number of participants from different categories, administrator, academic managers, industrial managers, researchers, engineers, and the record number of plenary invited, contributed, presenting the new results, giving new ideas, we are going to have very dynamic and stimulating conference. We expect this conference to enlarge the frontier of optoelectronics and making this field a key technology for the next century. In particular, there is a worry emerging that the importance of fundamental science, though recognized by all, may in practice be neglected on a dangerous extent. If, if you would like to know what is around the corner by way of relevant new science, we have to do relevant science on a substantial scale. And of course, technologically, the most important problem sometimes comes from unexpected directions. So we do not know in advance what all relevant new science programs are. Looking to the future subject and, uh, on, and going uh, development of this conference subject, the net result of all of this is a need to provide a remarkable opportunity to material scientists and technologists generally. Those who take, take care and a wide view of their technology and developments, they have opportunity to develop and move forward rapidly. Those, however, who fail to grasp such opportunities and to concentrate only on one narrow technological area, they will lose gradually their relevance in marketplace. So I hope this conference to help all of us for our future directions.